Right. I just want to make sure I'm getting an uh, audio signal. Let me know if you can hear me. Uh, let's see. And I see people are coming into the stream. Can everybody hear me? Somebody let me know. Thanks, Sonya. I appreciate it. Matter of fact, let me swivel over here and say hello to everybody. Let's see. We got we got Deb. We got Will Math. We got Mr. Hankst. Herr Hankst, wie bist du? We got Sonya. We got Sheila. So we'll let we'll let some guys come in a little bit more. Um, thanks so much for joining me. And uh, I am really looking forward to uh, to today's live stream. And in Hank said, sounds good. Thanks. Um, this live stream, as you saw in the title, probably is going to be about reverse search and tactical arbitrage. Uh, and I'm, I'm very excited about that because that is like, in my opinion, probably the most powerful tool out there, especially for the beginner. In the advanced, there's a lot more you can do with it, but regardless, I'm going to get into that as to why I love it so much, but um, let's see. I think we got everybody that we're going to have. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. I'm just gonna put my big head into the screen so we can get started. Oh, I'm gonna need my glasses. Hold on a second. You know I'm getting old. See, one of the good things about getting old, <laughs> you come out of denial. You know what? I'm blind, I can't see, and I don't care. I can use my glasses. Okay. So, let's see. As always, I got a few notes I'm looking at here because there's some things that I don't want to forget. And I still may forget something, but we're going to get started. And like I said, today's live stream, we're going to try to keep it to around an hour, but good luck with that, with the way I yak. We may go over, but it's okay because I don't have an agenda for today. I have nowhere to be except with you. This is where I'm supposed to be. So it goes as long as as it goes. I'll just look to see if anybody else joined. 
But um, before we get going, there's a ritual among my uh, working class hustlers. We start by saying a few special words. So repeat after me. I can't hear you and it doesn't matter. You say it anyway. Good things are supposed to happen to me. And you will say it again now. Good things are supposed to happen to me. It's true. Good things are supposed to happen to you. And that is the mindset. That is the mind frame. That is the mantra. And that is the attitude that we are going to approach this live stream with. And it's not over until you win. There's a purpose for you being here. At What to Sell on Amazon, we don't believe in coincidence. There is no such thing as a coincidence, people. There is a reason that you found me. There is a reason that you're on this live stream right now. So keep that in mind. And um, hey, this is What to Sell on Amazon. I'm Horace, live, baby. Let's go. So um, let's just, uh, for a quick overview, what we're going to do today, we're going to, like I've said before, we're going to cover reverse search um, in tactical arbitrage, but a couple other things. I got some notes, a few things that I want to talk about, some, some important things. And you know how I am. I'm not just here to teach you how to do this. I'm also here to share mindset, okay, because it's your thinking that, that plays such an important part. Um, and um, yeah, so what else are we going to do? Obviously, as always, we're going to go into our YouTube community. We're going to see who has joined the family in terms of subscribing. We're going to look at some comments. If you have questions, just ask them. And I'll be looking over at my other screen to, to monitor that. Don't worry. If you got a question, just ask. I have someone watching me and that person loves to tell me when I'm screwing up. So if I'm not getting to the questions, trust me, that person has a direct line and they're going to tap me on the shoulder and say, hey, dummy, you forgot to answer a question. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, and check this out. Guess what came in the mail uh, today? Can you see that? It says something good inside. That's from Rakuten, formerly known as Ebates. I got a letter in the mail today and you know what it is? It's some money. So whenever I'm talking to you guys and I'm saying, oh, you're a professional shopper, make sure you're getting money back. You know what? I do what I, what I say. I practice what I, peach, I preach. And today, if you hang around long enough, we're going to open this together and see how much money I got. Okay. Does anybody want to see how much money I got? Leave a comment in there if you want to help me count my money. Boy, this 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 ought to be good, boy. This it's so exciting how much money I got. Who wants to know? <laughs> Nobody? Okay, fine. Then I'm not going to show you nothing, you know. I'll take my money. I'll keep it to myself, you know. Uh, shut my mouth if you don't care. <laughs> I'm being crazy, but, um, before we get going, you know, there's, there's a few important things that I want you to think about. Um, I want you to think, I want you to feel good about selling on Amazon. If you're considering selling on Amazon, if you're already doing it, you need to understand something guys. Um, this is very important. You need to feel good about selling on Amazon. You need to get your mind right because when your mind is right, you understand this is so much bigger than you. Okay. It's not just about, let me see what I can find to go sell. Let me make some money for me. That's not why Amazon let you on their platform. They didn't let you on their platform for you. They gave you an opportunity to add value to the biggest online marketplace. That is incredible. And when you start thinking about it that way, you understand this isn't just about you making money. This is about an opportunity to add value. That is what, that is what business is all about. That is what the economy is all about. You're so 
fortunate to be here in the year 2020 where you can do this. If you're old like me, I'm 50 years old. I come from a time where you didn't have these kind of opportunities, you know, to instantly partner up with the premier retailer. Um, it, it, it's really good. You know, the late and great Jim Rohn said, uh, you don't get paid for your time. You get paid for the value that you bring to the market, you know? And th another thing while we're on that, you know, we're going to talk real quick about your wants versus your expectations. Everybody who has subscribed to this channel and we're probably up to about 540 people subscribed. If I went to each one of them and I said, do you want to have success on Amazon? Do you want to make more money? Do you want to allow that to change your life and give you choices and all of this stuff? Every one of them would say yes. See, wants come up in conversation. You, that's the easy part. You can tell me what you want. What do you expect? Do you really expect to be successful on, on Amazon? See, I can tell by the people who are on this live stream, you expect success. See, so what you expect comes out in what you are, what you're doing. Okay. So you should, you should feel good about that as, as, as well. And you know, you guys, I always make it a point to thank you. Thank you for, for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Of course, thank you for joining me today. Uh, you know, I do this in order to give to you. Uh, but here's the thing. I'm giving to you because of what I receive. What you guys give me, it cannot be measured. You give me purpose. You give me someone that cares. And you give me an opportunity to help someone. That is what this is about. Another thing, if you're new to this channel, you're probably not, but if you just happened upon this, I know you didn't cause I'm looking at who's in here, but I'm going to reiterate it anyway. This is not the quit your job channel. Uh, a lot of gurus talk about firing your boss and talk about, Oh, working, stop working at a job you hate. Let me tell you something real quick about that. Hang with me guys. We're going to get into the video, but we're family. That means you got to listen to me preach a little bit or a lot, you know, get out of that mindset. I hate my job. You didn't get drafted. You came there looking for a job. So take on the idea of, Hey, I'm going to figure out something good about this place. I'm staying here. I'm here and I'm here by choice. So don't be miserable and try to stay away from that culture. There's a culture at your workplace and there are certain groups, certain people, certain clicks. All they do is complain and all they can see is negative and it gets to a point where they come to work for that. Stay away from those people. I don't teach quitting your job. I teach how to enhance, have a job, have that for whatever it's worth to you. If you think it's secure, if you think you like a steady income, if you like health benefits, if you like some type of retirement, I'm not saying quit that. I still got it. So I'm looking for people who want to do what I do. Okay. But trust me, I don't go to work miserable. I go to work with a smile on my face. And I tell you what, a lot of people appreciate that. So, you know, um, and let me say something else about, about online arbitrage. If, if you're watching this video, a lot of times it's not just me. You're studying, you're studying other people as well. Be careful of these gurus that are telling you that you shouldn't do arbitrage. You know, there are other ways to make money on Amazon. There's wholesale, there's private label, you know, stuff like that. And a lot of them will say that arbitrage is too much work. I got news for you. It's going to be a lot of work, no matter what you do in life, if you're going to be successful. Okay. So get that thought out of your mind. And, you know, they'll say that you can't scale the business. You know what? Here's the deal. When they talk about being able to scale your Amazon business, they're talking about going big. But when you start talking about scaling and going big, guess what? You leave out a whole, a whole segment. You're, you're alienating yourself from a certain group that don't want to scale, that don't want to do $2 million a year. Some of us would be happy with an extra $500. For some people, an extra $1,000 a month would make a difference in their lives. And they can do that without having to think about, oh, well, I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to fire my boss and I'm going to be in business for myself. You don't have to do all that. 
the, you know, that's what this channel is all about, guys. And I'm proud to tell you and show you all the time that I work a regular job as a truck driver with overtime and everything. So, um, and there's some other things that I might come back to later, but for now, we're going to get right into the video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, um, show you my screen. We're going to refresh this if we could. So as you can see, today is February the 15th. The year is 2020 and I have sold a whopping two units today. Now that's what you call transparency. <laughs> We'd like for that to be more, but that's okay. Because when we look over 30 days, what do we see? 509 units. If you follow me, this is about where I've been, uh, somewhere around 12,000. That's where I usually hover. And you know, we're looking to increase that. How am I going to increase that? I'm going to increase that by doing more work. You know, you get out what you put in and that goes for me too. Why does this stay around at 12,000? Because I'm doing 12,000 worth of work i need to do more work so now let's get into it now we're talking tactical arbitrage so we're going to come over to um what the screen looks like when you come into tactical arbitrage and um as you can see we're on the free trial tab that that's what comes up when you come to tacticalarbitrage.com and you can get a seven day free trial but for those of you who follow me, you know, if you use my link, then you can get an extra three days. So you get 10 days. Big deal, right? An extra three days. But here's the thing. If you sign up under me, now you're under me and I can see that. So what I will do, if you decide to sign up under me, just let me know. And if you stay there beyond the free trial, that means you're serious about this, right? Everybody wants something for free. Everyone does not want to invest. If you're ready to invest in your future and you're serious about this, what I'm willing to do is actually give you one-on-one -on -one coaching. And if you want to do that, we can talk it over. You have my number. It's always on the screen. It's always in the description. You can text me working class hustler and we'll get going. And guys have been doing it. People have been connecting with me. So if you're thinking about connecting with me, now is the time guys, as you can see, I'm not going to stop making videos. I'm not going to stop adding value and it's going to come back around and you might find that you can't reach me as readily as you once could. So if you want to be in on the ground floor while things are still relatively small, now would be the time text the words working class hustler. And we can talk about getting you under me in tactical arbitrage. What, let me let me put you in the right mind frame. If you're serious about tactical arbitrage, you're going to get it right. So if you decide to sign up under me, here's what you're saying. You're saying, hey, Horace has put over 100 videos up. I enjoy what he's doing. So I'm going to sign up for him. And I would like for him to get a little something for everything that he puts out. Hey, tactical arbitrage, give him some money because I signed up. It cost you absolutely nothing. It's a win-win, but we both paid. I paid because I make the videos. I put the time, the energy, the money, and the effort into providing value to you. You paid, why? Because you pay attention to my videos. Think about that phrase. Why do we phrase it, pay attention? Attention cost, what does it cost? It costs you your most valuable resource under time it cost you your mental energy to actually focus and concentrate on what i'm putting out that that is a price that most people aren't willing to pay that's why we ain't got nobody hardly in this this live stream because we're not talking about funny cat videos and politics you could be binge watching on netflix right now right then you don't have to pay anything because all of your thoughts all of your content is just just provided to you and you don't have to analyze, use your brain for anything. You just you just sit there and be entertained. So it's a win win for you and me. We're both paying. We're getting something. So enough of that. Uh, another thing I usually like to cover is real quick just to show you um, the pricing. Uh, 
Uh, let me see. If I can get to it, I can get to it. If not, don't worry about it. We'll get to it another time. Um, yeah, we'll look at that another time. So anyway, this is what it looks like once you get signed in. Um, you'll come to sort of like your manager in a way uh, or your home screen, whatever you want to call it. Or your dashboard is what they call it. And there's certain things you can do out here. Uh, as you can see, we've got, we've done some reverse searches. You got some save stuff. You got three searches active right now. But what we want to do, we want to come right into the product search. And then we're going to come down to this little arrow right here. And that is your reverse search. We're going to come into reverse search. Now we've had some videos where we showed you how to do it. We're going to go a little bit more in depth guys. I think you're ready to go a little bit more in depth with reverse search. So we're going to start and we're going to look at every feature that I'm capable of helping you with today. So the first thing you see is the cache. Now, what does that mean? If you open that up, you see live only, you see three hours, four hours, 12 hours, one day, two day, three day, up to 10 days. So think about this. When someone does a search in tactical arbitrage, the results that, that get pulled as a result of their search are stored on tactical arbitrage servers. And what that does for you, let's say, you like mine is set for three days. That means when I decide what I'm searching, if something meets my criteria and someone already got that in a search, then I will get that result that much quicker. Someone else saw it first, but it's okay. Okay. Now the, the, the more results you want and the faster you want results, the further out you would go to me. I think three days is the sweet spot. There are some people that'll go five days, it's okay. But if you say live only, that means the system is not going to look at any previous searches. So the search is going to go longer. This would be a type of search that you would do. Set it, forget it, set it and go to work, set it and go to bed. And when you get up, the system pulled live. Okay. So I usually keep mine set to, uh, to three days. And it looks like you can do a cash only, so you can, if you like, and as you can see, you can click the question mark on anything that you want to know what it is. And you see what it says for the fastest results. You can use this cash only search feature to skip any product, not already sitting in the cash. So this, if you go, if you, if you click on cash only, then you're not going to get anything live. You're only going to get what's already been been uh, searched so and that's not a bad thing I wouldn't do it though okay this says also show title image matches okay uh, well, now what this does is the system tries to match a product based on titles and images I don't use that but all that's doing is, is allowing the system to try and get a better match. I'm okay if I don't get a good match because I know how to quickly scan and figure out is it a match or not, okay? Import, import bulk codes. Some people want to import uh, data to look at. And that, that's a much more advanced feature, so we're not going to talk about that. If you wanted to get into that, you can click that and read it. We may cover that on another video, but uh, quick search. So say in this area, say you had a specific ASIN that you wanted to stick in here. And you know what? I forgot to tell you when you before we go any further, why would you want reverse search versus product search? Of course, product search is fine. OK, product search would be over here. This is how you would go about doing a regular search and a regular search. You pick a website and you tell Amazon, Hey, go to, 
for example, um, I don't know, backtocountry.com. That's a website. Uh, Bath and Body Works. You're telling the system, go to bathandbodyworks.com and find me products that are in this rank, this price, can make me this amount of money, blah, blah, blah. Okay, in reverse search, you're telling you're telling the software, hey, look in clothing, shoes, and jewelry. Pull me the best sellers, the most wished, or the movers and shakers. You figure out what the product is. You figure out what store I can get it at based on the criteria that I want. I want it to be a certain rank. I want it to be able to make me a certain amount of money. I want this, that, this, that. You figure it out. Now that is powerful right there because if you tell, if you just do a regular product search, you're searching for the most part, you're searching at one store. Now there is a feature in product search where you can tell it also look for other stores, but you start it with one store to begin with. So if it's not in that one store, then you don't even get to see other stores. In this case, you don't have to think you're just saying, Hey, I know one thing. I know Amazon has best sellers. So go out to the best sellers in this category. I want to make this amount of money. I want the rank to be here. I want this. I want that. And you figure out what stores I can get it at. And it, it may find more than one. Why? Good. What if, what if you know that's a good product? You can clean out every store and control the market that way. Okay. So anyway, back over here, if there were a specific ASIN or UPC or U or ISBN if it was a book. You can stick that over in this area and still use your same filters and see where the software can find you that product. And it can take up to a hundred, but I will tell you that's probably um not what you want to do. It, it's not enough. A hundred, that's just not enough to really give you any real results. You can do a keyword search. I like keyword search because I know there are certain brands. Uh, for example, I'm approved for Cuisinart. So I can just type in Cuisinart and I can set the, the filters. If I set for Cuisinart, I can say find Cuisinart in a particular category. For example, I might say I want Cuisinart in uh, home and kitchen or something like that. In my case, I wouldn't set the categories wherever they find it. I don't care what category it's in. I'm, I'm interested in it. You can save your filters and you can, you can uh, name a particular search there. Now let's come up here. <clears throat> Here's where you tell the system, hey, I want you to scan the best sellers. Now you, for example, a lot of us are in toys and games. So we might say scan the best sellers in toys and games and the system will go should be, if I'm not mistaken, 100,000 products uh, in the best sellers. OK. And uh, you can go deeper. You don't have to just stop with toys and games. You can go featured category and then you can start. What if you only want to deal with games or hobbies? You see how you can filter that down and you can keep niching it down like that. And I want to say you can do like, it'll do like 30,000 in each subcategory. That's why, excuse me, I just stick with the root uh, category and just let it, let it do what it do. To me, I think you get more, but maybe not. Maybe you just want to deal in a specific, you want to niche it down. You know, and you'll figure that out as you start to specialize and you become more partial to certain products. Here, you can tell the system to scan most wished. Okay. So now, and you can pick the category. As you might know, if you shop on Amazon and they don't have the product in stock that you want, uh, you can put it on your wish list. I think even if it is in stock, you can add it to your wish list. Amazon saves that data, 
Think about the power of this. What if this was, for example, Q4? That's just an example. It doesn't have to be Q4, but you wanted to know what was the most wished for toys and games. Think about the power. You could be getting ready, you know, or, or even already be in the earlier parts of Q4, and you could be buying exactly what is most wished, okay? Then you know there's a market. It's just another way of knowing, hey, the stuff that I'm sourcing is going to sell. Then you come over to here. You can tell uh, the system to scan Amazon's movers and shakers. So what are movers and shakers? You could you could toggle on and then you could pick beauty, books, camera, cell phones, whatever. Movers, movers and shakers, that's a category that Amazon keeps track of. For example, so if you come, you could do a Google search. You could say Amazon, and I already did that. Amazon movers and shakers, and watch what happens. You got different categories, but let's just say you went kitchen and dining, right? This is a mover and shaker, and this changes every hour. These are products that for some reason were high in rank, and then all of a sudden they went low in rank for example look at this uh dutch oven uh the sales rank was 123,534 and now it's down to 266 look at the percentage that's that's up you know uh 46,000 some odd percent and this changes every hour but you may want to see, get involved in what's moving and shaking right now. You know what I mean? So that's just another way if you want, you know, to get into that. And then, so that, that covers this, this top area. Now you come down to the filters, right? So, uh, give me one second. Um, <clears throat> So when you get into your filters, you might say store and price adjustments. Now for me, I pay 6% sales tax. So uh, I'm gonna put something in there. Now let's say you were using uh, a discount site, or maybe you knew there was a sale and everything is, is on sale um, for a certain percentage off or in a certain category, you might be, I'm just using an example, you might be at Kohl's and and they have a certain discount or you might be, you know, you may be using Rakuten and you know you're getting a certain percentage. You can put that percentage in there and then it'll make the adjustment because that's gonna affect how much it costs you, which of course affects how much money you're gonna make. In the remove section, this is an interesting sec section and we're going to cover it all. So I'm going to try to make it quick. Say you want it, you could remove certain ranks, whether it's a 30 day rank or 90 day rank, you might remove everything over. Let's just say so, a lot of people like to try and keep things uh, 50,000 or below or a hundred thousand or below. That's fine. But let me tell you, you're not going to get as much results when you do it that way. Okay. So it's all, I prefer to go broad and then I can narrow it down with my on page filters once I'm looking at my results. OK, so I keep mine around two hundred thousand here. Remove if estimated sales tax is less than I don't really see a reason why you would need that. But that's something there that you could filter. Remove if the number of sellers is less than and more than. For some people, that's a big issue. How many other sellers are on the listing? That's not a big deal to me, but maybe for you, not enough sellers, that might be an indication that is just not enough demand for the product. You know, for some people that that's a big thing. So you can use these filters for that. Remove if the number of competitive FBA sellers is more than. So if you're doing FBA, then you might be concerned with how many other FBA sellers uh, are there. You remember, if you're the only FBA seller and you're within range, a, a reasonable range, 
nine times out of 10, you're going to control the buy box. So you might not want to jump in on something if there's too many FBA sellers. My advice, don't worry about that. You know, uh, FBA sellers, Amazon wants all of us to be successful. So for the most part, they're going to try and rotate between all of us. Now, if you got a guy racing to the bottom, Amazon has no choice but to give that that bottom guy, that, that rock bottom price, the buy box, because at the end, they're trying to please you and keep you on their selling platform. But ultimately, they're trying to please the customer. So the customer comes first. So you may have to just let that other seller sell out. And they will if it's a popular product. I wouldn't worry about this. Okay, remove third-party sellers from results. I have that toggled on because I don't want, if I'm shopping at Walmart, I don't want a third-party seller. I'm buying from Walmart and I want it from Walmart. Okay, so remove oversized products. I don't have that toggled on. I've had a lot of success with oversized products, particularly because other people don't want to deal with it. It's a pain in the butt to deal with coffee machines, toaster ovens, you know, um, furniture. But that, remember in other videos where I talk about degrees of separation, how much separation can you put out there? We're going to finish these these in here and then I'm going to go and see if there's any questions so hang with me guys if you wrote something remove out of stock products uh, I don't now this is dealing with the store that you're sourcing at I don't because your mind is so powerful you might come across a deal on a particular product and darn it they didn't have it in stock at that store but but that that, that gets stored in your brain. You, this is online arbitrage. One day you might be in a store doing retail arbitrage and you go, oh, I remember that product. It was out of stock online. I remember there was a good deal on this. You see, you want those things in front of you. You want the deals in front of you, uh, even if you can't move on them. That's my, you know, that's my theory and it works well for me. Remove if Amazon contains no weight or size data. So, so sometimes if there's no weight or size data, then the system cannot estimate what it's going to cost you uh, in terms of Amazon fees. I don't toggle that on because, you know, I have experience and whatever the product is, I've probably sold something similar to that. So I can kind of, you know, guesstimate and still know uh, within reason whether or not it's worth getting into. Remove if Amazon is also a seller and now in stock. You're gonna hear you're gonna hear people. There are other gurus that'll tell you to stay away. They'll tell beginners to stay away. Um, I have never had a problem listing right alongside Amazon. Are they gonna take the lion's share? Yes. Are you a lion when it comes to to, to selling on Amazon right now? No, you're not. You know, if Amazon is selling, then maybe you don't buy 10 units. Maybe you buy five. Maybe you buy three. Maybe you buy two. Uh, depending on how popular the product is, a lot of times if you don't, you'll put a product next to Amazon and they're not giving you anything. They, and you think they're hogging the buy box. They already know, you know what? This th These are selling so fast. We're going to sell out. And then they know they're going to be out. And then guess what? You get all the sales until they restock again. So me personally, I don't have a problem with that. So I'm going to go over to the live chat and see if somebody had something. Give me one second. <laughs> Deborah, Deborah said, you know it. We want to see how much money you got. <laughs> Will Math, want to know how much money I got? Y'all nosy. <laughs> oh, Will said he don't expect. He knows he's going to be successful. All right, now that's what I'm talking about. Um, so let's let's move on to the rest of this section. 
remove if number of reviews is less than that some people seriously guys believe it or not that is a criteria uh, criteria for some people they're saying if there are no reviews or not enough reviews then the product isn't worth getting into i think that's more of an issue when you go into private label i don't care i've had success with products that had no reviews i've had success with products that had terrible reviews the reviews that that doesn't matter to me because i'm looking at how many units are being sold as long as the units are being sold that's all that matters because you can have a product with no reviews low reviews and that product is still moving so remove if rating is lower than now again we're talking about reviews how many stars did it get that's not a problem for me but if you want to deal with that that's fine remove products with a source price of less than and more than so some people when they're doing their sourcing uh at the store they may not want to buy something that costs more than fifty dollars because they, they that's just beyond their their range i i don't use those but that's just another way to to filter down also remove products with an amazon price of less than and more than some people don't want to sell products that are outside of a certain range that doesn't bother me i've sold products that sell for you know two hundred dollars i've sold products that sell for you know five dollars whatever if it's making me money i can find a way to get it in there a lot of times remove products if amazon title contains the words now if if you know there's a certain brand that you just do not want to deal with but you know that brand comes up in a category you could use that i don't care i let the system pull it up and i'll just go past it if i don't want it remove products containing the brand so if there's a brand that you don't like or you're restricted and you know that brand comes up a lot in a category that you're searching you can put that brand in there remove products if amazon buy box is at least blank times the store price so for example if if there's a price at the store and you want the buy box price to be at least we're going to say three times three times the the store price right store price meaning the store you're buying the product at. you may want the amazon buy box to be five times what you pay you can put this in here uh i wouldn't go with that because you know you got to be careful with these filters the more filters you put in there the less results you're going to get and i can remember when i first started with ta i sent um i wasn't getting any results i'm doing all these searches it's going i'm not getting any results so uh i ended up submitting a ticket and i'm like what is going on here i'm at walmart i should be getting results and they and they let me know you got to loosen up on your filters i loosened up on my filters boom right away so i tend to go loose then you got your profit and return on investment uh you set this for wherever you want i like to make at least five dollars you got people that, that that can have success and they set it even looser two dollars okay uh only keep data if gross return on investment is at least usually i go 35 percent lately i've decided to lower that down to 20 just to get more results then we come over to the out of stock section also show amazon out of stock results that's a big one i got it toggled on because if we can source a product but it's out of stock i want to see that because then that gives me a chance to be the only person if i can look at the keeper graph and i can see that it was selling good when it was in stock nobody else for whatever reason wants the product or sources the product and i'm talking you know sellers not shoppers uh then i got a chance to control that until somebody else jumps on it so and then finally you have show only amazon out of stock products you know and that's to me that's actually not a bad strategy there was a time where i was doing that and that was before girl if you don't i'm talking to this cat because she's about to jump on my anyway um there was a time where that was a strategy of mine
Oh my god. I knew you were gonna do that. Hold on. She knocked my um hold on guys. Ugh, I'm gonna kill her. She she knocked my webcam down. Hold on. Let me see. Sorry about that. So anyway, uh, there was a time where I was going just for no longer stocked products. There used to be a setting that you could that you could set on Amazon on the website as a customer, and you could see uh, you could go into best sellers and then look for out of stock. So you could see what once was a bestseller, but it's no longer sourced. And if you could find that product, man, you could kill it. It takes a little time before the market realizes, hey, this is back in stock. But when they do, gone. Okay. Then finally, let's see. You can you can save your filter, uh, your filters down here. So just like you could you could save your filters in this section, you can save your filters down here as well. So I tell you what we'll do. We'll go ahead and start a search. I have some going, but I'm just going to demonstrate what it looks like when you set and start a search. So I love bestsellers. Uh, I love, you know what? This industrial and scientific. That's one that a lot of people don't think about. Uh, but I like that one. Uh, and I pretty much got. I'm not going to niche it down any. I just leave it at the root category um, and everything else. I'll just leave the same except I need to put, Oh, I forgot this section guys. If you're using a prep center, they'll let you know how much it costs to, uh, to, to prep their, their, your products for you. You got the cost to bundle and, you know, whatever, you'll find that out when you use prep. I don't use prep services. I have used them. If you want me to talk about that a little bit, I can yak on it. Just let me know in the comments right now if you want me to talk about, about prep centers. But if you do use one, you need to factor in that cost. And then that way, you know, if a product is worthwhile based on that, you see how this, how this comes, you know, even if, you know, you were paying somebody and if you were paying them the same way a prep center uh, charges, you could use this for what you're paying your employee or whatever. Um, so, yeah, where's my tax section? Yeah, that's already set for six percent. Yeah, everything is set. And then I'll hit start and then I'm watching up here. This should populate and then it should start moving. We had a problem last time because I had things. I had too many searches going and somebody helped me out because you guys are smarter than me. But you see how you you see things being checked now. Right now, how do we how do we look at our results? Right. Um, the way you look at your results, you'd come over here and you would say view reverse. Now, you see, we got searches that have completed. We got searches that are active all in the reverse search. OK, uh, and so it's populating with with the things that it have has found. But if you'll notice, it's in advanced view. I don't like that. I like basic. Now, if you go advanced, there's a lot you can do. You can move things around to where you want them. You could have right along the left. For example, you could have a keeper chart along the left and then you might want the same keeper chart right here so you could have two keeper charts running parallel you know that you could you can have things that you don't want to see that you could add things so you know let's see here uh you could manage your columns right here you see how you can toggle things on and off uh it's like i don't even have this shown amazon return after fees you know, whatever you could turn off everything and then it would probably look more like basic, but I like basic basic has everything that I like to see 
in the way that I like to see it. So watch how it populates. Okay. This is how I like to see it. Here's the store. There's Walmart. Here's the price at the store. Here's the price at the store with my 6% sales tax. Here's what it should be on Amazon. I see that it's suppressed, meaning that there is no buy box. The customer has to choose between all sellers. He's, he doesn't get to just click add to cart and then Amazon awards it to the buy box. This is good because I don't care for buy box anyway. You got all these people, you got a lot of people that they sell on Amazon and all they care about is controlling the buy box. That's just not me. Um, here's the gross profit. Here's the gross return on investment. You know, here's the category. Here's the UPC if you need that. Here's the monthly sales across different variations. So there's different colors, but you can tell. Look at the keeper graph, man. There's a lot of activity. Uh, and you only got five people selling. Uh, I, there is an FBA seller. So right away, you could see that. Um, and that's basically what your results look like. But let me, let's look over, let's go over to the search manager. Now there's different places where you can see the search manager. Okay. Say like in your dashboard, you, you can see, you, you can go into your search manager. And then also right here, you can go search manager. Once you start a search, okay. Uh, while that search, you see how you remember that search we started, you can go into search manager from there. So there's different ways you can get into the search manager, but when you get to the search manager, what it looks like is here. Now look at, here's the number of searches you got. This is search number one, number two, number three. Here you can see it's a reverse search right there. Reverse search, reverse search reverse if it was just a regular product search then it would say product search these are queued meaning these are running right here look at toys and games uh here are the filters that you used okay reverse search home and kitchen uh filters reverse search grocery gourmet and food now and then you see how you got best sellers best sellers best sellers Okay. Uh, remember that scientific that we just did. And if you want to just look at the results for that particular search, you could go view data because if you just, if you're just in reverse search and you say view reverse, it's going to pull from all the searches that are completed. Those that are currently running and has, have added products to the search, but maybe for right now, you just want to look at, your uh your industrial and scientific you may want to come over to your completed searches reverse search reverse search reverse search reverse search okay um let's see what else we got here you could save your searches you can schedule search searches to actually start at a, at a certain time or whatever that's really cool if you know hey every tuesday i want to start a certain search That'd be real cool. I'm, I've been lazy though. I didn't get into that. So let's just look at one here and let me, give me a second. Okay. looks like Hinks left. Okay, Will Math, he had to do his thing. Hey, we'll be here when you get back. Uh, Abraham Lincoln, I guess he put a quote from Abraham Lincoln, never give up. Anyway, I'm going to pick one and we can look at the results. Uh, let's see here. So here's an example. Remember, Remember how I was telling you about keyword searches. Let's see. I did a keyword search under Hamilton Beach and it's already completed and it added 60 products. So let's look at what was added. Mm. 
Now you got 17 products showing. I would think that there would be more items to show. So if you're not seeing everything that you think you should be seeing, check, check your filters. And let me show you what I mean here. And we sort of covered this last time. If I'm only seeing 17 out of 1,337 items, something ain't right. Now, if I go over to advance, let's see what happens. Now it's showing 59 products because you got different filters under advanced than you do under basic but I like basics, so I'm gonna see what's going on with my filters. Uh, so the first thing, now you can sort it. Right now, they're certain sorting by estimated sales. So whatever's selling the most is showing first. Your, your main thing might be return on investment, your main thing is, hey, how well is it matching? Okay. Now, here I said I want all, so I know that's not the issue. Here, I'm going to select all. That's your source, like the different stores. Uh, category. Now, I'm going to leave that alone because we, well, let's see here. You know what? They pulled everything that's in kitchen and dining, but you might have some Hamilton Beach showing in other categories for whatever reason. And I'm just looking to see, and now I'll apply, and let's see if we get any more. So we got a few more. And this is enough to go with. So the first one, this is the way I would look at it, guys. Here's the store. And here's the product. You want to make sure it's the right product, right? Panini Press and Indoor Grill. It looks the same, but we got to be sure of that. But before we go any further, I would check my restrictions. Looks like I'm okay there. This is how much I would make. This is the return on investment. Uh, some people might not want to spend $40 to make 10. I probably would, but how many would I buy? On something like that, I might only buy two of them, but you got to remember, it depends. How much can I get from this store, Area Trend? Do you see anything else? Now, you can use your filters for example, here's another way. This is a perfect way to use your filters. Source, deselect all, and now we'll see what else is available at Area Trend. Now we see two items. So now, because a lot of times you want to do a haul at one store, and to do that, you want to make sure you get your free shipping. I wouldn't have to do that and end up, you see they only have two products. Um, but but let me just get a little bit more into what I'm looking at, okay? From here, I'm kinda looking at the monthly sales and I can see this is, is, is really good. The sales rank is good. From here, you wanna see, is it really available at that price. So it should be $36.99 before tax at that store. And I see it. Then the next thing I want to look at is uh is it really selling for $57.59 on Amazon? And remember this comes in different colors. So you got the chrome, you got the red, you got the stainless steel. I'm going to click in here and I'm going to filter it down. All I really care about is prime and new. And guess what? There is nobody FBA. So then I'll just come out to new. Man, you could kill it with this. You could kill it. 
that is one that I would keep. So what I would do at that point, I would save that. And then later I can come to my saved reverse. And then there that product will be. Uh, this one, I don't know if I would want to spend 120. I might. Uh, you only got two sellers and look at the monthly sales. So let's just take a look at it as long as we're here. We're going to go and there it is. And then we're going to see, is it really selling for $388? Whoa, that's a lot of money. Now see, that ain't looking right, is it? Let's look over here. Now, when you see when you see one up here and then it says four other options, nine times out of 10, Amazon's selling it. Look at ships from sold by Amazon. Now that's okay. I wouldn't buy this, but, but I'm just saying that's okay. If you filter down, here's the thing. What you could do is try to see how many Amazon has in stock. So what you could do is come over here to your tactical edge seller analysis, click that and let it give you more information. Information is the power guys. You make the money when you buy, when you learn how to buy the rest. Now look at, uh, this says uh, it's showing a thousand in stock. Now it's back ordered. So I don't know if they're trying to say, They've ordered a uh, thousand. Oh, wait, that. Let me put my glasses on. <laughs> that's actually 10,000, isn't it? Forget it. You ain't going to sell yours. Uh, now, this says that the average price was 222. So then you want to come over to your keeper chart and kind of look and see what's been going on let's see uh we're gonna look over so this is saying over the last three months that was the price but remember you're coming out of q4 so you see how your price let's see now i'm looking at 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 this buy box as i scroll and look at that was in December when it jumped up. So that average, I don't like that. You see how you figured out that this wouldn't be a good deal. Now let's look at that other one that I said I would get, right? Did the same thing happen? Let's see. Now you see the buy box was holding at 32.74 and then it jumped up and you can't see it there but it's like why did it jump up okay we don't need that we were looking at this here's the reason why you see that you see that tan all this tan means amazon has it in stock and see as I scroll across you see you can see Amazon right there and look at new jumped up and so when Amazon goes out of stock that's when you're gonna make the money on this and then too I don't know how this how close the system is really keeping up with the, the variation okay so that's just a little bit of um, of how to use the software tell you what we can do guys um, if you want we can see if we can do any sourcing for you today if somebody wants to see if we can find a product that we can source and you can buy right now for a profit just type in the category that you want me to look at type that in and um, and we'll go from there 
And while we're waiting to see who wants to do some sourcing today, who's ready? Who's ready to make some money today? We're going to take a look at my Rakuten check. <laughs> Ah. Okay. You guys ready? <laughs> uh, can you see that? That is... You probably can't see that. But that is $30.35. Now, my next check should be bigger than that. i tell you what. Uh, let's see here. Because um, look, at, look at what I've earned. I, I, got, I got more money than that. I know doggone well I got more money coming than that. Looks like Drew wants to look in baby. You know what? Good. I think I have a reverse search going in baby. Oh, by the way, um, a lot of times you hear me talking about my course. If you want to invest in a full course, 12 modules, all you would do is come out to you to me, type in what to sell on Amazon and you can see my course right here uh enough of that now let me here's what we're going to do guys watch how we do this i'm going to close these windows that i don't need we're going to come out to the search manager this time we're going from there and let me get my screen because you can't see what i'm doing because I was trying to show you stuff and, and didn't even have didn't even have the screen up. But anyway, this is what I was trying to show you. If you go to Udemy, you type in what to sell on Amazon. There's my course. Uh, if you want to invest in that, if you come over to reverse search. And where I got to it this time was right from here. I think we did a search in baby uh toys and games home and kitchen grocery and food industrial let's go over to completed hamilton beach uh that was a keyword search movers and shakers baby we remember we talked about movers and shakers uh only one product added And I don't even see it. Let me see. What? Alcohol test strips for breast milk? Boy, but look at the monthly sales on that. Uh, it's at eBay, though. Number one is probably not available. But remember what I said. Even when something isn't available or if it's at a source that you don't like, hit this just put the thought in your mind. Let me ask you something. Will math, when you think baby, do you think, <laughs> do you think uh, alcohol test strips for breast milk? Is that what you were thinking? Type me an answer in there. <laughs> so, but here's the deal on this. If it's alcohol, you might have a problem because there may be hazmat. No, it isn't. Certain things like, Amazon won't let you ship in FBA because of certain hazards, if it's flammable or whatever, and it's, since it's alcohol. But I would check to see if I'm restricted. It says I am. I would request approval. Request approval. And I got approved. So next time I come across it, and let's, let's just look at the product while we're here. You here, you might as well look. 19. 
look at that rank, man. You could kill it. But you got to be careful. Because what you don't want to do, you don't want to jump on uh, a private label. See, now, you see how this is? Look at the brand. The brand is upscreen, uh, upspring, I'm sorry. And when you look at who's selling it, upspring is selling it. Uh, I might not jump on that because you could end up with, with them coming after you saying, get off of our product. Now, then again, look at, they're allowing this person to sell. And he's only got 647 ratings, so he's really not a big guy. You could try one or two, you know, if they jump on you, what I would do. Now, this is just me. If they jumped on me, I'd probably just lower the price, get rid of it real quick, and then they'll leave you alone. But I don't know. They might be laying back. Let me see some. Not that I would necessarily buy this product, but I wanted to see if eBay had it. No. So let's see what we can do because we want to find you something in baby uh, tell you what what we can do without using tactical arbitrage because I don't care you don't care where it comes from as long as I find you a deal right so let's come over to Walmart uh, let's go to baby let me see what you say <laughs> grow by design said hot mess probably talking about the, the, those testing strips <laughs> Sonya said, not in a million years. <laughs> Will says, is baby gated for new sellers? As far as I know, unless it's changed, um, baby in and of itself, the category isn't gated as far as I know. It's certain brands and more and more brands have become gated. Let me know if anybody knows for sure. I don't. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come to baby. We're going to come over to clearance and you're just going to watch me work. You know, we're just going to look around until we find something. Now here, watch the first thing I'm looking at is the price. Uh, and then what the price used to be. That's not a real big margin. It was, it's 1050. It was 15. Not a big margin, but people do tend to pay more for toys on Amazon than they do at other sites. So what you would do, come out to the root on amazon.com, put that title in and Look at, now you got two listings for that, right? You got this one for 1050. Then you got this listing for 29.97, but I see a couple of pictures. So let's just take a look. Sometimes some people will bundle things, put an extra something. That's just a different angle though. We don't like that rank though, do we? A million? Nah, we don't want that. So we'll come back out. Uh, hmm. Let's look at this. Drop it, baby koala. Let's see here. Now I'm doing this, uh, I'm doing this the long way, guys, but hey, you do what you do. Let me see. What is this? Somehow I lost my Amazon. Let's see. Uh, I don't see it. So if
If you don't see it, then I usually back out of it a little bit and see if I can find it that way. Let's see, drop it, baby. No, nah, I don't see it. So keep moving. Hmm. Baby tooth wipes. Hmm. Now remember, we're looking at clearance. Tell you what we'll do. While we're waiting, while I'm doing it the hard way, tell you what we'll do. We'll come over. And instead of movers and shakers, we're going to do a search. Now, what I do is I come out and then I go back into reverse search. Now, watch what I do. Uh, I'm going to go advanced. I'm going to set the cash for five days. I'm going to say best sellers in where's baby baby products I'm going to go ahead and get that going let's make sure it starts and then once it starts then I'll go back but that way we got we got the system working for us as well the system can work faster than me and it can actually go and pick some of the best sellers so now that it's doing that, look at it, it's already at 41. Now I'll go back to what I was doing. See how that works? How quick that was. Mm, car seats sell, but you got to be careful. Those can be restricted. Infant car seat accessory gift set. Uh, I don't see it. Let me see. Hold on. Maxi Cozy. Mm, no. Nah. Let's see what else we might find. And again, I'm just looking in the clearance. Sip art. 14 ounce. Let's see if we can find that. I don't see it. Um Nothing has been added just yet. Let's see. <laughs> Pack of six. I can tell you right now, Gerber is gated, so I ain't even going to look at that because that probably wouldn't be good for you. Go on to the second page. You know what? We're in clearance in baby, but maybe we want to look at bath and potty, or we could look at toys and gifts. Let's see. This is a set of four. Push and go. Let's see. This may be restricted. It may not. Let's just see if we can find it. But you see how I used the website to kind of drill down. 
Okay, I see this for $14.99. Eh. Oh my God, you got 45 people selling this? But watch what happens. It really doesn't matter how many you got selling, how many competitive sellers. So, $10.99, $18. Well, wait a minute. Prime, new. Now, watch what I do here. This probably isn't going to be good for us, but just watch what I do. I'm going to take the ASIN. I'm going to come over to tactical arbitrage. I'm going to come over to the analysis. I'm going to go to tactical edge. I'm going to put the ASIN in there. And then going to cost us 1099 now of course it's going to cost a little bit more with tax but that's okay for the purpose of this we're going to put 1099 we're going to fetch the information so you see how you can use tactical arbitrage even if you're not necessarily running a search you can look at the and use the tools let's see that's got a lot of sales guys a lot of sales um now let me see you would lose money until you get into the 1876 range, I guess. And when you look at how many they have in stock, not too many. Now, again, of course, you'd have to factor in your sales tax. You can check your restrictions. Uh, I could sell this product. Now, if you're estimating 91 sales a month, it wouldn't take long. What I would probably do, I'd probably get somewhere in this area, like 1995 or whatever. Uh, I mean, you're not seeing anybody with real big numbers that are FBA. He has 50, but he's merchant fulfilled right now let's see if the system pulled anything nope it's up to 276 didn't pull nothing um i don't know hold on let me let me look at the uh at the chat oh i see she's uh sonia saw that upspring is selling uh, Walmart and Walgreens. You know what? Walgreens is a great place to source. We need to. We need to. Um, we need to look at that one of these days together. Let me check something, guys. So we've been on guys for over an hour now. Just a just a heads up on that. Not that it really matters, but let's let's do a little more looking in babies and toys. Let's see here. Now you see, look at who's selling that. We don't want that. Because we want it by Walmart. Now, you should be able to um, to filter that out to where you just only at Walmart. Let's see. Um, little people. I think that's Fisher Price, isn't it? You ain't getting, you're not getting the official price if you're, if you're new, but we'll look just to see. Put, put, 
So this is just a set of four. Uh, yeah, price ain't right on that. Oh, look, the baby search has added uh, two products. So let's see if we can view the data on that. And I might have, let's see. These are the two items. Maybe, let's see if I can see it in basic because I don't like this layout. It may not show it in basic though. Uh, it only shows the one. So you know what, in that case, I'm gonna leave it in advanced just to kind of show what you're dealing with in advanced. Now, what this is, here the buy box should be 3880. Uh, and this should be, it's saying $4, but I don't know what store that is. Let me see if, if you get there from here. See, that's eBay. Uh, I wouldn't buy from just any eBay seller. I mean, if it's a power seller, then I probably, I probably would. There have been some products that I did well with and I was sourcing at eBay, but eh, I'd be careful with that. Same thing. Eh, Cause you don't know what you're getting with some of these eBay sellers. Uh, if if I knew who the person was, if if I could see their ratings and all that crap, then I might. But no, no, we're not even going there. Let's see. Let me see. Let me go back over to the chat. Hold on. a second oh, I'm still here guys just need to look at something real quick okay I don't know. Baby ain't looking so hot. Uh, we'll look at one more and then we're going to have to we're going to have to move on to some other stuff. Believe me, if you put your time in, you will find some things. Let's see. Learning pad. Get out of there. Hmm. I don't see that one. I thought I would. That's okay, though. What about this one? Fourteen. See a lot of these. They're calling this clearance. It's the same price on Amazon. Got to be careful with this junk. All right. Tell you what we'll do. We'll come back over. And remember that baby search is still running. We'll come back over to our search manager 
and maybe we can look in uh, grocery. Let's see, home or kitchen. Well, I guess we could look at home and kitchen. Because I don't know who, who's approved for grocery. Let's see here. Okay. Soft neck support. That's eBay anyway. eBay, eBay. Tell you what we could do. Show you how to use your filters. Source. We're going to take eBay out of there. Because one thing we know, we're not buying there mostly. to take it out yeah all right uh, this is some kind of big stuff so we may not stay on here for too long we saw this earlier uh yeti you can forget about that This should be 1829. Uh, see, when you start seeing seeing stuff like this, it's probably not a good match. So I'm not even going to deal with that. Elite Cuisine. Maximatic Egg Poacher. Lot of sales. Good rank. Suppressed buy box, but are we restricted? No. Next step. Is it available at Amazon for $14.24? No. Because we're looking at red. And if we got green, it ain't 14, it's 16. And if we got teal, it's 20. White is 14.24. Now what you could do, you could come over, click on white. I don't know how it went down there. Click on white. Filter down to prime to new. Sold by Amazon. Forget it. But do not be discouraged, guys. This stuff works. I wouldn't be making the kind of money that I make if it didn't. Macy's. I'm just checking my restrictions on this before I even see. I would have to request approval. I'm not big on candles anyway, although I have had some success in the past with them. Let's see. Hmm. I'm just sort of scanning. Here's something I'm going to look at. No restrictions. Is it 22? Is it in stock? It is. Is it really selling for 48.74 on Amazon? Don't look like it to me. Let's see. Prime 
from new so Amazon has it now what you could do you could drill down and maybe see uh, does Amazon go out of stock Let's see. Let's see how many they got in stock. They don't have that many in stock. Now, what you could do from there. Let me see. Hold on. Is that Amazon I'm looking at? No. Hold on. This says Amazon has it. Forty-eight and forty-eight. See, it's this. These numbers aren't accurate because Amazon is selling this, and I would venture to say they have quite a few. Let's see. So. Let me check my chat, see what you guys are talking about. Okay, Drew is asking, do I do I go for products when they have a lot of variations? Sometimes I do. It just depends. That doesn't run me off, although I don't run to them either. You know what I mean? That's not something that would keep me away. So I will order. I mean, when you got a lot, when you see big numbers, uh, and it'll say across different variations, but chances are you're going to sell it. Will said it doesn't matter. He'll go for a three-hour stream. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I do need to eat. <laughs> um, maybe we can look in toys for a bit. I don't, don't bother me. Tell you what, though, just out of curiosity, I may go back and add this to my cart just to see. Now, check that out. Did you see what just happened? I went to add to the cart, and it would only let me add three. That's telling me they don't have many. But then when you read, in stock on March 20th. But you can order it now. But they're only allowing you to order three. Well, why is that? I don't know. So those are the types of things you need to consider. Uh, let's see. And then we're going to go to another category here in a minute, but I just want to kind of see. That's restricted. I'll see if they'll approve me. They didn't. Uh, see, even I, I don't get approved for everything. Hmm. Now I'm looking at a heavy duty lemon squeezer. trying to see if I'm approved for it before I even move any further but it doesn't want to tell me anything let's see here system is acting weird not letting me do what I want to do uh, but it got approved 
and don't think that you will not get approved. I'm working with a student and they are getting approved more and more for things. Right while we source together, they're clicking on request for approval and they're getting it. So don't think that you're not going to get it. So then you would see, is it really available for $7.99? And no, because we don't want green and silver is $27.99. So you got to be, you got to be careful with these. Cuisinart, Cuisinart. Thermos. Are we approved for Thermos? Looks like it. I don't think that one, you let me know, but I don't think that brand is hard to get approved for. But it's out of stock. So... This is what I'm talking about, guys. You got to put the work in. Let's see. Now. Let me see something here. Uh, 500 two cup. Should be twenty eight ninety nine, but how many is that? So that's two of them. Nope, that's ten of them. So you gotta be you gotta be careful with that. Cause if you want ten, hold on. Hmm. I'm just sort of looking. Uh, sixteen ounce. I don't see sixteen ounce. How many milliliter was that? Mm. Uh, no, these ain't the right size. Okay, so we can close that, that. I'm not dealing with no spreads because that that's just too big. Reusable gray. Now, before you go any further with this one, you want to see how many you're getting, cause they they'll they'll catch you slipping. And you got to think if they're at forty dollars. Something's going on with the amount. This says includes one medium dish. Hmm. I don't know about that. Let's see. Yeah, medium dish, gray. Zip top. Who else is selling it? You got five people, so it's probably not. Anybody prime? Yup. This is looking good, guys. Is anybody following along? You want to you want to run over to um, Target. See if you can get this. So far, it's looking good. Mm. 
what I would do at this point, I would kind of look at the keeper chart, see if I can get an idea. I mean, that's $40 going all the way back. It's just staying steady. I mean, you don't even see a lot of, a lot of movement on the graph. It's just staying at 40, man. That's, that's pretty good. And the rank just keeps dropping. That might be one we'll look at. Uh, did anybody try that? All right, we'll go a little bit further. I don't know what this is. Gas, ethylene gas absorbers. Refrigerator, fruit and vegetable preserver. Oh, that's out of stock anyway, but keep that in mind for next time. Hmm. Hang in there, guys. Okay. Uh, hmm. Commercial grade French fry cutter. Hmm. Is that really $21.12? It sure is. Look at that. I wonder are we approved for that? Nope. Request approval. Blah, 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 blah. It's approved. Is it really selling for $129 on Amazon? Seriously? That can't be the same thing. That cannot, cannot, nah. That's the replacement pushing plate. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta, you gotta look at, this is the complete, no, 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 no. But we got approved. And you see how you build upon right there. You're, certain things you're not buying, but you're getting approved in the process. This is how you continue to build. The next time you come across that brand, you'll be able to sell it. You see? Mm, not available. We missed the boat on that one. But could we have sold it anyway? Yes, we could have. Look at that. Hello Kitty Novelty Lunchbox. You guys know what I'm doing, right? <gasps> Only one left. And they want 47 bucks. That can't be Walmart. No. That's not Walmart. That's a third party seller. <laughs> Pyrex, forget it. I can't get approved for them. Uh, they don't play. Hey, hush up that noise. Black and Decker, that's a good brand. If you can get approved for them. $16.96. Uh, is it really selling? For forty five dollars, yeah. 
we're going to filter that down. We're going to go prime. We're going to go new. Yeah. That's the same thing. Yeah, that's it. Then what I would do. Wait, uh, uh, hold on. This one is bigger. I think, hold on. No, no, it's not. 32 ounce, 32 ounce. Uh, CJ 630, CJ 630. Then I would look at the keeper chart, kind of look how things have been moving since January. I'm looking at the price as it's going up down up yeah that would be one that I would look into so I'll add that to my save list and then it looks like Walmart has one out of stock keep moving come back over to the chat so will says how much capital how much capital do i recommend for new sellers If you want five want to make 500 a month in profit oh you're probably if you're lucky it's not a a, a hard and fast rule of thumb it's probably not as accurate as it used to be but typically a good formula was if you want to make 500 in profit after fees and everything you probably need to spend 1500 and honestly those numbers probably don't hold as true today you might need to actually spend a little more but you don't start there okay it's like anything you want to learn how to run okay first learn how to crawl and then well first learn how to sit up by yourself then learn how to crawl then you become a toddler and then you can, you know, progress. Don't don't think of it. Don't think you're just going to start right out of the gate doing five hundred dollars a month in profit. That's that's just not going to happen because you got to learn. So much of this is learning how to analyze products. You know, it's almost like what's well, not like it's, it's much better than. But I would you look at people who pick certain stocks. How do they get good? How, how do they get good? It takes time. It takes experience. Okay, right. I was getting a warning that, that my bit rate wasn't fast enough. I don't know how you guys, how this stream is coming through. It doesn't seem to be having any problems, but. Aha, Drew let us know that that's actually a mismatch on the, uh, on the Black and Decker. Let me see. He said, aha, Black and Decker, I mean, Kmart sent the different model. You got to be, yeah, you got to watch them. Uh, so I don't know that kind of stuff happens guys. So let's come back and see that it, did we get anything? Now we got 14 products in baby. Maybe we got something that we can deal with now. I tell you what, when it comes to that, to breastfeeding, seems like, they do pretty well. But when you only see one seller, 
chances are that's the manufacturer one seller okay ten sellers Barnes and Noble uh, gotta get approved for whatever this is oh baby Einstein Wir sind jetzt approved for the Einstein, gell? Na also. Let's see. Do they have it in stock? For 19.99, they do. Uh is it really $40 on Amazon? I don't know. That's open box. Uh, oh, look, we got the classic view. Sometimes they'll show, this is the way I like it, because this is the way I'm used to. Look at Amazon selling for uh, for $39.99. So I would jump in. I'll come back and look at that a little later. Uh, and I don't see any more, but if I go over, well, I, I could either check my filters, but before I do that, I'm gonna come over to advanced and just see what else populates just by going to advanced. Uh, hmm, feeding bottles. Should be 25. And that's a six pack. Rank is good. I can see right here whether or not I'm restricted. And I'm not, because it was going to let me list it. Now, this is a widget that I use called Scandalize. I talk about that in some other videos. See that? What that did was stop me from having to go back over here. That saved me two, three clicks. But then we got to see what store is it supposed to... Uh, no, 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 no. That's eBay. Let's see here. What else we got? Uh, swaddle. Bottle warmer. I don't know. Approved. How many sellers are on this? Five. Amazon selling it for 48. But can we get it at store? It's at eBay. Remember what we did with our filters last time? This would be a good time to do that. So. Mm. I hit reset, which I really shouldn't have did. I should have went to uh, filter manager. That's okay. I do not like the advanced view. So you know what? I'm coming over to the basic view. And I'm going to sort and filter... I'm going to select all and then I'm going to deselect eBay. I'm going to apply. And see what happens. Let's see.
And now I'm only seeing five items. I don't know what it's not what it's not doing for me. I got everything selected. Uh, I don't know. I'll apply that filter and see what it does. Da, da, da. Feels like my computer is slowing down for some reason. My brand new computer. It's really not brand new, but. I don't know what's going on with it. But you got to be careful. You notice this Hudson baby only has one seller. I'm not dealing with it. One seller. I ain't dealing with it. Because I don't know that brand. It's probably just one same thing. Well, no. This is Target. Let me just look at this for a second. Uh, let's see. Who has it on Amazon? One new... Cheerful Robot 293. He's getting it, man, for $850. Oh, but you got to be approved. I figured I'd be approved. If he got approved, I'd be approved. So that's one I would probably look at. Oh, I'm going to come back over to my chat. Oh, thanks, Will. He said it's perfect, so the live stream, live stream is coming through okay. Yeah, I don't know why they're giving me that warning. I mean, they keep giving me, like, I don't know. Every 10 seconds, I get a warning. <laughs> I don't know. So, guys, I think I think I'm going to wrap it up. Um, but I'll take one last set of questions. If anybody has any questions for me. Uh, well, if not... We can wrap this one up. Let's see. I got one more thing I want to talk about before I before I go. Let's see. Nobody has any questions. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna get too deep into it, but I want to talk. A little bit just a little bit about uh, coaching and programs and stuff like that now let me just preface this segment by telling you you know I focus on beginners I'm partial towards beginners the people who I choose to serve are beginners so when we talk about programs, coaching, software, and all this kind of stuff that you can buy, uh, I got a certain feeling about beginners. Number one, you're just starting out. So you really don't need to be spending a lot of money on programs, on coaching, on software. Because you haven't, first of all, you haven't proven to yourself that, um, you can really do it. Some of you haven't. If you have, then good. This wouldn't apply to you. But I'm talking about the brand new cherry that's, that these gurus are saying, oh, I can do this, I can do that. Even if they could, 
the coaching could be great, but you're not ready for it. And I just have a certain thing about people trying to sell you software for, you know, uh, $1,000, $3,000 with five easy payments. You know, you haven't even started. And I'm going to put you in the hole. $3,000, $1,500, $1,000. You haven't even started. That's money that you could be using to source product. You get into that, those type of numbers after you've proven to yourself that you're going to stick to this business. You, you, you do this, you spend that kind of money, you invest that kind of money. Once you've shown that you're going to be in this business, you're already off and on your way. And the machine is really churning. Then number one, you, you, can appreciate the value it is an investment at that point it's not an expenditure it's an investment okay and then once you can appreciate the value and you're making some money then you're ready so yes i do offer coaching but it's not for what you might think maybe you've seen gurus offering coaching for five hundred dollars a thousand dollars you know two hundred dollars uh, whatever it may be. Uh, but I just can't see a beginner spending a lot of money. And I feel a certain kind of way when it comes to, uh, content creators, coaches, uh, software producers, whatever, particularly the way they sell to beginners, beginners, they don't need a lot of stuff to be spending money on. What they need is to just roll up their sleeves and learn how to do this. That's what I'm here for. So if you are interested in coaching, if you do want to invest in this software, tactical arbitrage, and you want somebody that you can come to that's actually committed to helping you get the most out of the software, then yes, text the words working class hustler and we can get you started if you don't want anything if you don't want anything like that and you just want to connect text the number on the screen text working class hustler and anybody can tell you it may take me a day it may take a half a day whatever i will respond i'm interested in connecting with people you know we can spend an hour sourcing together we can do that because I do this. I'm not just some guy teaching you and trying to get you into a program or something. I do this. So what do I have to lose if, if, if I source with you? Now, I don't have the time to continue that, but we can, we can schedule an hour to work together and you can see how, this, how my coaching works. You know, If you're a little bit further along, you're ready. You already know what you're doing and you want results, you've been following me, we can jump right into the coaching because you're already doing this. You have inventory. You mostly need accountability and someone just to kind of guide you along the way to get you in motion. You don't even need that much coaching, maybe two blocks and you're good to go. But if you're new, you haven't even get really gotten started yet, we can schedule an hour to work together and you can see how my coaching works and that's just something that you might be interested in because most of you guys, or at least a good bit of you, you're just as smart as I am or even more intelligent. So if you're not make getting the kind of numbers that I'm getting, then what's the problem? More than likely, you're just not putting in the work. I know all about it, guys. I know all about it because I work. You know what? I get up. And I work on my business. And then when I'm done working on my business, I work out because I have to have my health in order to do this. And I have certain standards for the way that I look. And after I'm done working and then working out, I go to work. And then after I'm done working, I work overtime. And when I get done working overtime, I go home and I work. So I'm not afraid of work. I know what it takes to do this. And, and for these people that are trying to tell you that it's going to be easy, that's just a trick to sell you. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing in life easy that's going to be worth anything to you. It's all relative. If it comes to you easy, 
It ain't going to be worth nothing to you. Now, we all want to say easy come, easy go. Now, let me go be fooled by somebody that's telling me that it's easy. That's that's crazy right there. We know better. But we also live in the moment. And in the moment, we want to believe when someone tells us that it's going to be easy. In the moment, we want to believe that we're going to be successful. So we buy that course. We buy that software and nothing happens. So the question is why? Maybe it's time for you to get connected, truly connected with somebody that's better than you. You've heard me say this before. We all want to say it's not, uh, you know, what you know, it's who you know. Uh, to increase your net worth, you need to increase your your network. And uh, or you, you're the, the product of the five closest people uh, to you. Who are you really connected with that's got it like that? Who are you connected with that's, that's doing better than you on Amazon? And I'm not talking about who you're subscribed to. I'm talking about who whose number can you dial? Because I that because that's what I'm offering. You look at the look at the number that's on your screen right now. That's a chance for you to actually be connected with a person. If you're not in my phone, you don't know me. If you're not in my phone, you're not connected to me. I don't care what you think. If you can't reach out and call me and have a conversation, then you're not connected with me. So this is what I'm offering. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do it. And that doesn't matter because now you're talking in the future. The future doesn't belong to you. You know what you got? You got right now. You got this moment. That's all you got. What's in the past is gone. Ain't nothing you can do about it. What's in the future ain't promised to nobody. Okay. What you have is this moment right now. And in this moment, you have a chance to connect with somebody. So, the question is, are you going to do it? People are doing it now and they're getting results. So that's all I have, guys. Let me check my, my comments one more time. <sighs> Thanks, Will. I appreciate that, that wonderful comment. I know I'm a preacher by nature. I missed my calling. <laughs> But it's what I do, because at the end of the day, guys, it's not it's not just about Amazon. We're using Amazon as a tool because that's what's available today. Amazon wasn't here yesterday. Yesterday was eBay or whatever else it may have been. You can you can learn to leverage any platform. OK, and we don't know what tomorrow holds with Amazon. Don't think that, that you're going to be doing this forever. You don't know you're using what you learn. You're taking advantage of what you have right now. This is a season, right? Life is like the seasons. So yeah, guys, that's it. Um, like I said, contact me if you need to. I'm ready. I'm going to go ahead and end this. Um, I had a wonderful, wonderful time. I can't, I, I just can't thank you guys enough. This is really fun for me. And what I get out of it, it's immeasurable. So that's it, guys. This is what to sell on Amazon live. I'm Horace, and I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.